Hey, we're gonna put up the shop lights, um, also known as the grow lights, and um. And here's the stuff we're gonna use. And here's the stuff we're gonna use. All right, what are we using here? Um, I went and grabbed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount up on the ceiling some uh, conduit because it was cheap and it was available. So to do that, I'm gonna mount it with some uh, half inch two hole straps. I'll show you how I'm doing that. And to mount the straps up here like this, uh, actually it's gonna be like that. Uh, to mount those up onto the ceiling, I'm just gonna use some uh, coarse thread drywall screws. Um, it's just what I happen to have sitting in the garage for so I don't have to run out and get anything. These happen to be two inch coarse thread drywall screws. Use whatever you want. All right, so now we're gonna mount those straps I was just showing you. There's a dead battery drill. Yeah. Uh, good to go. All right, stop that for a minute. Okay, so I cut some conduit to this width. You might wanna file down your edges so that you don't get cut or anything. Obviously my lights are gonna hang. Good. Okay. Okay, so uh, we've got our lights up. These are just standard shop lights. I'm gonna show you this a little bit more in detail in just a sec, but um, what I did find was that the chains that these come with, and I hadn't really thought about this preemptively, um, are stationary for the most part. Um, I have to fix, there's a tiny little ballast thing here that I'll have to get fixed to fix that light, but uh, these are mostly stationary on these chains. I didn't want that because then I have to either bring the plants all up to the lights so that I'm closer, or I have to figure out a way to uh, adjust my light, which I came up with. I had some strings sitting around. This is just uh, cotton laundry line string. So Rachel and I now can be able to lift this whole thing. Can you hold that end? Lift it up a little bit. There you go. Uh, basically just a one-man operation. So I'm just kind of lifting on one side if you let go of there. Let go. Uh, and then you can just kind of tie this off wherever you want to making this whole thing adjustable. Pretty simple. Like I said, we're not going through a whole ton of money or anything for this stuff. I could just take up, swing this through, and uh, tie it off real easily, uh, keeping in mind that this is adjustable now and lopsided. So let's fix that. Uh, there we are. So it'll stay stationary. It won't just fall off on its own. You're good to go. Um, you can come up with a tiny little maybe a hasp system on the side of your wall so you can just wrap the laundry line around it which is what I'll probably end up doing here very shortly. Uh, this is an evolution. You're gonna find whenever you're building a project like this there's always gonna be something that you can improve. There's always different ideas that you come up with which is great. That's what makes uh, this kind of thing so much fun. Anyway this is our whole starting station over here, and then uh, I've got a couple feet, I guess, probably around, yeah, it's right around two feet of uh, space over here that I could store supplies. Um, I could also use a little lamp like this or something where uh, I can use, I can do something else and hang it so that I can use that for a ceiling station as well. Um, we'll get into the lighting here in just a moment. One thing to keep in mind is that when we put these uh, galvanized pipe in, they're galvanized so that they don't get uh, rusted so the moisture won't corrode anything. Um, you may want to take a self-tapping screw for metal and run it up through the strap, which would be this, is what's holding the piping in. Uh, a little self-tapping screw through here and into the pipe so that the pipe doesn't slide around back and forth. If this pipe were to jut out this way, or the other way, then your lights could fall down and they would smash your plants to bits. So what I did is a temporary measure. I just have a little bit of duct tape on here, just for show. I'm not having any problems with sliding right now. I'm trying to move it, it's not moving. There's no way it's just gonna slide on its own from getting bumped or something like that. Thank you. All right, so we wanted to figure out the lighting that we're going to use, I'm just going with regular old fluorescent tubes. I'm not using grow lights. I'm not using anything really super fancy schmancy. These were 
just standard um, light bulbs. They're not even really full spectrum lights. These happen to be 40 watt. Uh, the size is T12. This number right here is 6500K. That would be a uh, 6500 Kelvin. That doesn't mean uh, temperature in this particular case. That is a measurement of the light. So uh, if you can get a little bit higher than 6500, that's great, but don't go uh, substantially high because you start getting to a diminishing point of returns where it doesn't really help you out in um, germination or seedling stage. What we're looking for uh, right now is more of a blue spectrum because it is a seedling. We're not looking for red because red would help out with um, budding or with uh, floral production. This number over here 88 CRI, that's a color uh, rating index. It goes from 1 to 100. I stopped mine at 88 because once I got into 90, I think it was 92, um, the price of the light bulb went up by like a buck a bulb or two, um, and I'd be several dollars over So um, what I wanted to spend. So I'm just grabbing, I just grabbed some regular old um, 40, this is, happens to be from Philips. You can grab anything that's out there, I guess. Um, see if I can focus that a little bit better. Maybe not. But these are from Philips F40T. Um, it's an F40T12. This one is used. I gotta get a new bulb. But um, that's all we're at. So you don't have to get mercury vapor. You don't have to get all kinds of fancy stuff. Like I said, we're gonna leave the lights. We'll just be. In essence, I'm going to lower them if this was my ceilings. I'm going to have that bulb just about on top of them. You don't want to go higher than about two inches because then you start losing uh, your color rating index or your or your Kelvin, your, your measurement of light. You want to keep it real close. And using a fluorescent light, I go closer <clears throat> and I don't necessarily lose anything. I'm not going to gain heat. These are very, very cool burning bulbs. If I were to use a grow bulb or a grow light, those kick off a considerable amount of heat and they would burn out your seedlings. I have, however, elected to go from two shop lights to three. I'm going to make a little tray of that and we'll see that in just a sec. All right, so I'm going to take um, all three of these shop lights and I wanted to make them work as one unit so this piece of plywood is going to go on top of those these will be flipped over and fastened to the plywood with some screws making it one whole unit I'm going to measure a top across the top of these three lights which we're coming up with uh, about 13 inches actually so I'm going to go about 14 maybe uh, for the width of this plywood the length, I'm going to make it at four feet because we have a four foot shop light. Alrighty folks, the lighting has been completed. I built that, uh, I just put those three tubes together, I mean uh, tubes, three shop lights together um, with some plywood. Everything's there. I've got trays underneath the lighting right now. If you take a look, remember what I was telling you earlier about under the ceiling station, it should be mostly a blue light or cool light. Um, that's all fluorescent tubes. I have a compact fluorescent light, and you can see how much more red that that is over there. That's what you would use for flowering. This is for seedling. Flowering and budding, seedling. Flowering and budding, <laughs> seedling. Uh, the other thing I switched up real fast was my wiring was getting in the way, so I ran these up, and I have kind of knotted them up. You can see here. That's a bug strip for flies, whatever. Um, my wiring and now, now goes up the top. Then it runs up and actually out of the station. And my outlets are all up here now. Timer still stays down there. Uh, and we're good to go. So thanks a lot for watching. Onions are down now. And I'm going to get a bunch of other stuff going here very shortly, which you'll see us do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there it is. All closed up, ready to go. Seedling station, uh, there's a little peek inside.